my 2021 observations and comments concerning the circle hooks for sockeye. It's been a long winter and spring is in the air, so it's time to put away the snow shovels and get ready for the sockeye season. Had a great 2021 season and was able to fill the freezer with sockeye fillets and in the process test out a couple more circle hooks. An owner Mewtwo light with a red finish and an owner Mewtwo light tournament. These were compared against the Gamakatsu Nautilus, which at the beginning of my testing I considered to be the gold standard of circle hooks for sockeye. You just go catch a fish. There's one, Mary. <laughs> Settle down. Okay, there's the weight. Let me get the net. Nice fish, Mary. Oh, I am done. Nice fish. Yeah. That is a good and that fish. circle hook is buried in the mouth. You couldn't get the circle hook in there any better if you tried. Okay, darn our fish, the rest of them. I, I just lay them right down. Five, ten. Just for the heck of it, this year I planned on weighing every sockeye we put on the stringer. But I put the scale up after the 29th. I did, however, weigh 46 with an average weight of five and a half pounds. The lightest was three pounds, five ounces, and the heaviest was seven pounds, seven ounces. I tested a sliding weight setup with good result. Let me come down here in the front there below you, Pete. Fishing in the swamp.
see how this works. Thank you. Okay, we'll see what this one weighs. Six, six pounds even. It's difficult to come up with a clear winner. Since I caught fish on every hook and pattern I tied up over the winter on two watts, three watts, and four watts, as well as a bit of yarn or a bead in an egg loop. However, I did find that the Mewtwo Light Tournament performed exceptionally well. It has a straight eye inline point configuration. The Mewtwo Light in red finish has a straight eye offset point. I found that the red finish took a beating. I believe that the inline point configuration of the tournament didn't get banged up as much and stayed sharper longer than an offset design. In addition, I believe the inline point is less prone to grabbing a hold of places other than in the mouth. With all that being said, an offset point like the Nautilus has worked great for me. Although I have my suspicions that a lot of my on-offs are a result of the hook grabbing somewhere other than in the mouth. So, after more than a few years of testing various circle hooks, I've narrowed the field down to just a couple configurations. The first criteria is that the circle has to have a straight eye, as it is more conducive to getting the leader parallel to the point. The second requirement is a toss-up for me, but I'm leaning towards an inline to the shank point. That's what happens when the circle hooks do the job. A bad day of fishing beats a better day at the office. Yeah. No kidding. Of course, you got to have good days at the office to afford to have bad days facing. Yeah, right. For the 2022 season, I plan on severely testing the owner of Mewtwo Light Tournament and the Gamakatsu Nautilus. Plus one more circle that I haven't really tested yet. The Gamakatsu Inline Octopus Circle Straight Eye. We'll see what happens. God willing, and the creeks don't rise. Warm me out before. Warm me out before I even get to the 